is, there's no safer place on earth to purge yourself than here amongst our very own family, friends, and loved ones. And colleagues. All right. Just tell us. Sisters. Uh, so I just want to say this. I just want to preface this by saying, say no to drugs. Say no to drugs. Some of us do. Some of us do. Some of us don't. Yeah. So, so it started. It's not. It's San Jose. San Jose. San Jose. I don't even know. You know what? Tell me, where was that? I don't know where it was, but I'm, I'm going to play Dan. Music to, the, to John, can I do like light background music to the yes. story? Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> so we'll just get to the point. Danny gave me some edibles. <laughs> because. I can't sleep at night on tour. My anxiety gets me fucking crazy. Oh, yeah. And Danny was like, here, here's a lollipop. It'll help you sleep. Wait a minute, time on, time on number one. So, fact check one. number one. Fact check number one. Look one lollipop. At an after party. After party. Danny comes out of nowhere, Mr. Clean. There you go. Suddenly is a big fucking drug dealer. He's a drug dealer. Danny is a drug dealer. He's got these fucking edibles. Dump them over here. Fucking he take anything. He doesn't give a fuck. Uh, I just want to sleep. He'll fucking take down a barn in a day. So fucking give me something. He just felt like sucking on something. Exactly. I did. And he sucked the whole fucking thing. And it was like fucking sucking one lollipop. Yeah, that shit was good. Let me suck another lollipop. <laughs> And then another and another! Just like back in 1990! Just like back in 1970! Wait, I was two years old. I wasn't sucking dick at two years old. Maybe I was. But did you really... Did you really have that many? Do you remember? Yes! Because the first one, it was this big. <laughs> John's. Here's a quote for you. <laughs> we, well, a lot of but, a lot of people were here last year for right, your, your your show in the theater. The yeah, they. Yeah, I know. I worked it out. They, they might have assumed that you might have taken right. a lick once I here did. and again. I never did. Okay. That's a whole other story, but yeah, it's a theory. So, but so yeah. I just I, I swear to you I I I sucked on it for maybe. I don't know, three minutes. It was a good three minutes. Three hours later, I was in my bed like this. I know I'm tired, but I don't sleep and be sleeping. I literally, tiny, it was still, you wouldn't even notice it. This motherfucker had 35 milligrams. So, what happened, John? Come on. So, I was fine the whole night. You went to sleep. I went to sleep. Were you feeling great off of this shit? No, I was like, this shit this this sucks. Nothing. Danny sold me some bad fucking drugs. Ah. What the fuck? He's like the worst drug dealer ever. He sold them to you? Well, he didn't sell it to me. Oh, okay. He, he gifted it to me. Okay. So, so you'd buy it so, after? So, like all night, I'm like, so fuck, this shit ain't working. Yeah. yeah. Wake up at like 8 in the morning. My face is numb. I can't talk. No bus. I'm no like, bus. I think I'm having a fucking heart attack or a stroke. My heart is beating out of my chest. I'm like, I'm fucking dying. I'm dying. Hyperventilate, trying to get off the bus to get somebody to get me to the hospital because I'm about to die. Pass out, halfway down the steps, and just fucking face plant, baby. Face plant. And I'm sleeping. I feel good now. You feel good? I feel liberated. Yeah. I feel liberated. That's the truth. That's right. Yeah. I, yes. I did breathe. You know, the, this cruise, this cruise is magical. That's why I was, I, I had to tell people I wanted to suck dick last year. And I never got a chance to, and I'm okay with it. 
And I'm glad I, oh, hey, I see a camera. Hey, but here's, here's, here's what happens. So he's, he's now, he's just passed out, flopped between the tour buses. Just, just laying there. And who, just finds him, who finds him but Charlie, who's been with us for a long time, but hadn't worked with us in a couple of years. So John comes to and looks up and it's fucking Charlie, who he hasn't seen in a year. Who hasn't been on tour. And the funny thing is Charlie said, well, first of all, there was like, walkie talkies like, there's a homeless man bleeding in front of the new kids bus. There's some guy, like, what happened? So, so Charlie comes around the corner, I'm bloody, everything, he just, he didn't, he was like, Why is that, it that's not a homeless man. 